because I could only find one shoe this morning. Oh, I like hopping. Why don't you hop along with me? <laughs> Hello, everyone. What are you up to, little cook? I'm sorting out all my things. I fancy a change. You see, I'm fed up living amongst all these jars and sleeping in my bowl. I want to live somewhere exciting like a teapot or a watering can. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure we could find you somewhere else to live for a while if you fancied a change. Ben, why are you hopping? <laughs> oh, well, I'm hopping because I could only find one shoe this morning. I'm sure they were together when I went to bed, and now I can't think where they've gone. I've looked everywhere. Ben, stop hopping, you're making me dizzy. Okay, <laughs> well, I'll try, but if I put my sock down on the floor, I might wear it out. Hey, Ben, why don't you borrow one of my shoes? <laughs> Thanks, Maul, but I don't think that'd fit my big toe, let alone my big foot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben, we'll have to look for your shoe later. In the meantime, we'd better hop to it. <laughs> We've got a customer. OK, then. Here's your shoe back, little cook. Go and see who our customer is today. I'm on my way. Woohoo! Whoosh! <laughs> Who's in our cafe today, Small? She's a little old lady who has lots and lots of children and lives in a shoe. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Do you? It's the little old lady who lives in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. <laughs> now, what can we cook for a little old lady? I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> we need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, I was out taking a breath of fresh air when I bumped into an old red shoe, which was lying in the middle of a field. From out of the little door in the shoe appeared a jolly old lady, followed by lots and lots of children. <laughs> the old lady told me she had so many children she didn't know what to do and they were fast outgrowing their little shoe. They needed somewhere bigger to live. I could see there wasn't much room, so I decided to help. I knew of a few other empty shoes which might be just right. First, I took the old lady and her children to see a beautiful pink satin ballet shoe. It's beautiful, said the old lady, but it's not practical with all my children. They'll have mud all over it in no time. I could see her point and had another think. Next, I took them to an empty flipper. The old lady looked at the flipper and said, It's big and waterproof, but the shape would mean that my children would bang their heads. Hmm, I needed to think again. They followed me to a roller skate. The old lady's children loved the thought of this, but the old lady looked at it and said, It's good fun, but we might roll off down the hill. I had to agree. It didn't seem very safe to live in. Finally, I took them to see a builder's boot, which was on the edge of the city. The old lady looked at it closely and then exclaimed with glee, Perfect! It's hard wearing, big, and it's just the right shape. The old lady who had once lived in a shoe now lived happily in a boot. <laughs> I helped them move in and we painted it a lovely blue colour. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Oh, what a perfect place to live. A boot. Way! That's right, Ben. 
I'm glad I helped them find a new home. It was getting very cramped in their shoe. So, I wonder what somebody who lives in a boot would like to eat? Hmm. Ooh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! <coughs> Here we are! The perfect thing! Pasty Boot! In celebration of her new home! <laughs> OK, little cook, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need... An onion. Oh, onions. OK. Oh, boo-hoo. Onions always make me cry. Got it. <laughs> Potatoes. Potatoes. Here we go. A putty. A toes. Got them small. Olive oil. Olive oil. Here we are. Yep. Minced beef. Minced beef. Yep. Got the minced beef small. An egg. Egg in the fridge. Here we go. Got it. Ready-made pastry. In the fridge as well. Here we go. Pastry. Got it small. And a swede. A swede. A swede. Right. Oh, oh, OK. OK. A swede is lovely and orange, just like your hair, little cook. Oh, thanks, Ben. <laughs> but unfortunately, we've completely run out. We have got everything else, though. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get one. <laughs> Good idea, little cook, and I'll get everything ready. See you later. Hey, why don't you come along, too? Woohoo! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, what a beautiful day! That's a swede. It's a vegetable and grows out of the ground. This field of swede are being harvested. The swedes are pulled out of the ground and all the dirt is brushed off. All the swedes are collected in a big wooden crate. Here comes the tractor to pick up the crate full of swedes. They look really heavy. The swedes are checked to make sure there are no bad ones and that they're all clean. Blah, 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 blah. Down they come. And off they go. Woohoo! The boxes are weighed. And they're ready to go to the shops. I'd better get one of these Swedes back to Ben. Bye! Now, where or where did I put my shoe? Way! I'm back! I saw lots of Swedes growing in a field and I brought one back for the recipe! Woohoo! Wow! Ho -ho. I can't wait to make our pasty boot, so let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to pasty boot? You do? There was an onion. Half. Finely chopped. Potatoes. Three. Chopped into cubes. Olive oil. One tablespoon. Minced beef. 200 grams. An egg. One. Ready-made pastry. 375 grams. Ready-made. Pre-rolled. And a swede. Just a quarter, which we can chop into cubes later. Whoopee! Let's get started! And I suppose I'll have to cook with one chew off and one chew on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben, I know a nursery rhyme about someone who had one shoe off 
and one shoe on. <laughs> diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John. <laughs> I love that rhyme, little cook, but at least I'm not as silly as Diddle Diddle Dumpling. I don't go to bed with my trousers on or my shoes. <laughs> right, OK. The first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. And now remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. So that's a job for your grown-up helper to do. And so is this. I've put a little oil into a saucepan and I'm going to fry the onions until they go golden. I've looked everywhere for your shoe, Ben, and I just can't find it. It's very, very odd. The Great Shoe Mystery. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Ooh. Right. Now, when the onions are golden, we can add the diced swede and the potato. And we can cook and stir for about five minutes. Now, back to business. I was looking for a new home to live in. I wonder what I can find. Add the minced beef and stir the mixture from time to time for another 10 minutes until the pink of the meat has gone brown. Oh, I like this new home. It's a cereal packet. It's warm and cosy. But what about if it rains small? Won't the box go all soggy? I think you're right, Ben. A soggy home would never do. I think it's time to come up with a new idea. The meat's cooked now, so we can take it off the heat and pop the lid on until we're ready for it. And I can have a bit of a sing and a dance. <laughs> diddle diddle dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off, a one shoe on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. <laughs> oh. oh no, this won't do as a home. Oh, I know, I know. How about a handbag? <laughs> now I've put some flour down onto a clean surface and I've rolled the pastry out until it's one centimetre thick. Now, this pastry is pre-rolled, so you don't have to do too much rolling. Hey, look! I found a handbag, but I can't believe how many things are in it. There's keys and a glasses case, and look, there's a brush. <laughs> a handbag's for keeping things in, little cook, not for living in. <laughs> right. Now, I've rolled the pastry into two rectangles so that there's enough room for two boots. And I've also cut out the shape of a boot from some card to help me. And I'm going to cut around it with a blunt table knife, like this. Now, if you don't want to do the shape of a boot, you can do any shape you like. Look what I found! Some seaside rock! Yummy! <laughs> there we are. That's one. And now use your template to cut out a second boot, but this time make it a little bit bigger all the way round to make room for the filling. Look at all this stuff! I could never share a home of all of this. <laughs> I don't think a handbag is the right home for me either. But look at me! <laughs> I've placed the smaller boot onto a grease baking tray and I've beaten an egg in a bowl with a fork, so now I'm going to use a pastry brush to brush the egg all around the edge, like this. A little bit more, all around the edge. And now I can spoon in the mixture. So here we are. This is going to be the filling. On it goes. This smells tasty. Some more. Just there, and one more, I think, just there. OK, now I'm going to pick up the bigger boot and place it on top. Now, the egg should help the boots to stick together. 
and now I can just squidge it down around the edge like this. And always remember to wash your hands if you handle raw egg. I didn't manage to find a new home, Ben. Well, never mind, Small. Have a look at this. I'm going to use a fork to pierce the pastry all the way round to look like stitching. Hey, Ben, shall I make some bootlaces from the leftover squidgy pastry? Good idea, little cook. Can't have a boot without bootlaces. Lovely squidgy pastry! Woohoo! And now it's time to stick on the laces. So, one here and another here. Have you finished yours, Small? Yes, here we are, Ben. Thanks, Small. On it goes. And there we are. All finished. I'll just brush a little egg over the top so that it goes all brown and shiny. And then into the oven it goes for 20 minutes. So, oven gloves on. And over we go. And make sure you get your grown-up help to do that bit for you. I'll set the timer for 20 minutes. The tasty pasty boot is cooked and cooled now. We'd better get it off to the old lady who lived in a shoe before she gets so hungry she doesn't know what to do. <laughs> right you are, Small. One pasty boot coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've, We've got, got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes. It looks like the little old lady who lived in a shoe enjoyed her pasty boot, little cook. Look. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Oh, let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My pasty boot was delicious. Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry you couldn't find your shoe this morning, Big Cook. You left it outside in the garden. Oh. And I thought it would make a great new home for Little Cook Small. I hope he likes it. From the little old lady who lived in the shoe. My new home! It's perfect! <laughs> it's my shoe! <laughs> <laughs> See you soon! See you soon! <laughs> Big Cook, Little Cook, welcome to our cafe. Cook for everyone!